Welcome on Mike Shoesmith, who is our Toronto, Canada uh, correspondent. Now, Mike is the executive director of the P.P. Simmons Ministries, which is a world-famous Internet ministry, which en encompasses uh, YouTube, uh, hundreds and hundreds of videos, multiplied millions, scores of millions of views and viewers, uh, 25, 26, 27,000 subscribers, a big Facebook page, a syndicated blog spot. Uh, he writes books. He, he blogs. He's syndicated. He does radio interviews. He's got his own television, the P.P. Simmons television program that he's got going. Mike, you're a busy, busy man. God bless you. Thanks for taking time being on the show today. Yeah, you know, March is uh, shaping up to be a month of apparent, unprecedented, converging prophetic fulfillments. It, Carl. It, it really is. I'm going to let you talk about it, but I was thinking about that this, uh, just before I came on the air, about all of the things that are happening, and I was looking on the news, and then as I was thinking about it, they were running a ticker tape under there talking about how the new pope was going to be uh, elected in just a f few weeks in March. So tell us what's going on in March. Well, I mean, uh, you know, Rand Paul spent uh, 12, 13 hours on the floor trying to filibuster the right. nomination of uh, Muslim uh, Brennan to the uh, yep. to become yep. the nation's top spy. Yeah, John Muslim Brennan, he was converted to Islam, and now he has all of the secrets of our nation are in the hands of a Muslim, a converted Muslim. You know, a it does appear that, I mean, his, his, his number one concern, it seemed, was Brennan, Brennan's... Um, uh, love affair, along with Obama's love affair, of the drones, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, uh, this, to me, I've been looking at this from a prophetic angle, and it does seem to me to be a, a, an astounding uh, a tie, a link to a prophecy in the book of Revelation in chapter 13 that talks about the, the, uh, the mark of the beast, uh, the killing people who refuse to worship the beast, etc., 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 now, this whole drone thing, i got to tell you guys, this is amazing stuff. I mean, it didn't originate with Obama, but uh, Obama is bringing it to the level, the, the, le the Antichrist level. So uh, I'm going to start referring to him as Antichrist Obama, by the way. That's Mike Shoesmith talking. We're not confirming anything <laughs> here. But uh, I'm going to start referring to him as Antichrist Obama well, until somebody shows me otherwise. Well, and let me just say this. Uh, let me just go ahead and say this. He certainly has an antichrist spirit in him. Right. I mean I mean he does. I mean any student of the Bible should be able to see that. I mean he's he's pro abortion, he's pro homosexual, he's he's pro Islam, pro Muslim, he's, he's you know anti Israel, anti anything that's just pure straight up and down biblical Christianity. I mean you just go right through the list. He has an antichrist spirit. Go ahead. Well, and here's the verse uh, and here's the verse in question here. It's Revelation 13:13. 13, 13. It says, "And he does great wonders" so that he makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, people are going to have to put their thinking caps on here. He does great wonders. He, the Antichrist, does great wonders, so that he makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And as you read down, it says, he gives power to the image of the beast so that the beast could speak, and he causes that as many as would not worship the beast should be killed. Right? Right. right. So let's go back to uh, verse 13. And I just want to say this once more. He does great wonders. So he makes yeah. fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Listen, uh, there's a guy, CBS interviewed this guy named Jerry Van Dyke. He is a CBS reporter who was embedded in Afghanistan in 2007. Right. And he spoke, they interviewed him regarding Rand Paul's stand against drones in the filibuster. This was today. Right. And Van Dyke is one of those guys, he's one of those, he's a, he's a man's man, you know, he gets out there with the Taliban, and uh, he interviews them, and you know, it's amazing this man's even alive still, but he told the story of a time when he had a drone, an American drone, over, overhead, and uh, they were targeting the people that he was with, and uh, he said, he said that, well, let's have a look, let me get you the exact quote here. He said that drones overhead are like God looking down on you. It tears away at your soul. Right. I saw that, I saw that quote on, on the P.P. Simmons site today. It's like right. God watching over you. It tears away at your soul to have a drone hanging over your head, knowing that all they have to do, somebody sitting in an office thousands of miles away, can push a button and you're obliterated. 
Right, and and uh, if you look, if you if you Google or Yahoo images uh, the uh, uh, something like uh, drone attack, you'll see it looks like fire coming down out of these things onto the earth. But listen, what is the name of the missile that they use to launch from these drones? It's called the Hellfire missile. Yeah, <laughs> and it does, he does great wonders so that he makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and he causes that whoever doesn't worship the beast will be killed. And here we have Brennan. Now, Brennan, he, Brennan this guy has, has spent a great deal of time defending the use of drones on U.S. soil. Right. And this was the issue that the Rand Paul had with this. This uh, drone issue is not going away. And uh, the, the, it looks like the drones will be used to – now, there's lots of uh, evidence out there that suggests that these drones are going to be able to tell who you are by virtue of electronics. Right, and, 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 and if you have a, a weapon on you as well. Right, and so we've linked this to the so-called Mark of the Beast, which we document on the P.P. Simmons Facebook uh, blog, et cetera, et cetera, that it looks like it will probably be a – a, some sort of con- computer chip embedded. Now, it's amazing, you know, as you read the, the 1611 version of the King James Version of the Bible, which is 400 years old, it says, in the right hand or in the forehead. Right. Now, I just, no, I just think that's, on a, as an aside, I think that's amazing that they had the foresight to, uh, you know, even though, you know, what could that possibly be 400 years ago, yet they just went, well, that appears to be what it says to us, let's put it in there anyway, right? Right. And here we have the technology that could be used to uh, mark people, cause them to not be able to buy or sell anything unless they have this mark. And we've documented people are now using these embedded computer chips to pay their, their bar tab or, right. or whatever. Uh, and now we have this drone technology that could be used to kill these people if they refuse to do this, whatever, however the worship of the beast is manifested. Right. And, Mike, what's more amazing than the King James Version of the Bible indicating that the King James Version of the Bible, of course, was translated from the original Greek, from the original manuscripts. The book of Revelation was written around 90 A.D. So 2,000 years ago, the prophecy was given that there would come a day when the technology would be so advanced that people would have a mark or we can say a chip or an information uh, 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 status uh, indicator in your right hand or in your forehead which could give the beast the power to kill you if you didn't bow down to him. Right. And, I and, mean, this and, is amazing. Uh, and, uh, before we go to break, you mentioned North Korea. Now, uh, North Korea claims now in the news, ABC News is reporting that North Korea has nuclear missiles on standby, and uh, North Korea will be canceling their, their, uh, their uh, ceasefire. Now, North Korea and South Korea, that war is still ongoing, folks. I don't yes. know how many people That's realize right. this, but no armistice, no truce has ever been signed. They right. just have a ceasefire. That's right. And uh, North Korea has, has boldly declared that they will end the ceasefire on the 11th, right. which is Monday. Right. And uh, they have nuclear missiles on standby, standby, uh, on standby to attack both South Korea and the U.S. And it's possible they have the missiles that could reach uh, L.A., uh, Seattle mm-hmm. area. Mm-hmm. You don't think there are any nuclear subs off the coast out there of South Korea ready to unleash uh, well you know all manner the funny of thing about these people who say well an emp could wipe out uh, the united states so what yeah. i mean the you know one nuclear arm one nuclear submarine one american nuclear submarine is designed in such a way to fight a war all by itself right right so the, any any attack on the united states whether it's an emp or a nuclear attack is suicide right yeah no no i i'm with you and, and, and here's the verse on the north korean thing though Daniel 11.44, now, now track with me on this, but tidings, tidings are news or intelligence information right. out of the east. Right. So a map, uh, on a map, on a world map, uh, North Korea is east of, of uh, where, the, where Antichrist Obama is headquartered. Right. Right. And out of the north, it says. So, so specifically, it says the east, which is the Asian area, and the north. 
uh-huh. shall trouble him. Or let's let's put Obama's name in. So let's go. Let's do a P.P. P. Simmons amplified version here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right? okay. But tidings, which is uh, intelligence information, out of the east and out of the north. Tidings out of the east and the north shall so trouble Antichrist Obama. Therefore, he Antichrist Obama will go forth with great fury to destroy and to utterly make away many. Now we're looking at this as a possible. Um, uh, fulfillment of whatever happens in North Korea. This is purely speculative now, folks. We don't want you to think that we're making predictions, prognostications here. We don't know what's going to happen, but we're looking at this in light of Bible prophecy and saying, wow, March could be on fire prophetically. Right. And, and another thing I want to point out to our listeners, and I know, Mike, that you'll back me up on this. When people approach the book of Revelation, they come to that portion, for example, where it says that the, the, the Antichrist will have power to, uh, to, to call down fire from heaven in the sight of the people. And so people look at that and they say, oh, well, you know, that means literally just, you know, right. looking into the sky and calling down fire. No, think of it like this. That was given to the Apostle John on the island of Patmos, a revelation. That's why the book's called Revelation. It's right. one revelation from Jesus Christ. Not the book of Revelations. It's the book of Revelation. <laughs> right. Okay? And right. he was given that revelation of things that were to come. Now, now to put it on our level, God sat him down in front of a DVD player right. and showed him the future. And so John living in an era where they're still riding camels and walking and wearing mm-hmm. sandals and living in tents along the way, living in that era, John looks into at least 2013 and, and, and probably beyond, and he's shown, I mean, remember, they're riding camels. Right. Okay? So he's shown, you know, high, high technology, uh, nuclear weapons and interstates yeah. and cities and uh, automobiles and airplanes. I mean, how do you describe that stuff? Then, they said, and, then, and they, a, then he's told to write it down. <laughs> yeah, then he said, write this down. So he says he sees drones firing hellfire missiles out of right. the skies, and he might say it looked like the sky was full of locusts, except the locusts had power in their tails, and they stung yeah. people, and, and, they, and, and the Antichrist called down fire out of heaven. It just came out of the sky, and it killed people that, that wouldn't worship him. And I mean, he could literally have been describing the technology that we're living yeah, with well, right now. Yeah, well, imagine him seeing, him, him seeing an Apache attack helicopter. He'd say, well, it's got hair like a woman. It's got face like a man. Right. It's it got, sounds, uh, you know, it's got a, a, sounds a like tail chariots. that looks like yeah. a scorpion's tail, and it's it's firing, um, uh, stinging people for five months, yeah. and and, uh, and then now we look at we look at today's uh, headlines. You know, uh, Saddam Hussein was in Kuwait for exactly five months before he was driven out by the Allied forces. And the I mean, Bible we are says living that. an amazing time. Yeah, and the Bible says that it, he he attacked these people for five months. Five it months. says that in Revelation. It's unbelievable, Mike. We got to take a time out. When we come back, we've got a whole lot more of this to talk. about. About. You're listening to Mike Shoesmith, who is a part of today's edition of Freedom Friday with Carl Gallup.